now we will talk about the human ear ok how do we hear what is the structure of our ear and what makes us hear ok see to start with like first of all our uh, sense organ which helps us in hearing is ear is not it we all know that. So, we all know that and uh, like how it is so we all know it is there on the lower part of our head is not it it is there on the lower part of our head ear which everybody knows everybody has seen ok. Now, our ear can be divided into three parts ok ear can be first of all I will write the human ear the human ear so the human ear can be divided into three parts so what are the three parts in which the human ear can be divided is outer ear ok then middle ear middle I have written middle ear and which one inner ear. So, what we are studying we are studying human ear human ear can be divided into three uh, you know the parts. So, what are the four, what are the parts it is outer ear middle ear and inner ear ok. So, uh, when we start with so how what is the structure structure from the outer like the outer part of the ear everybody knows the pinna is not it. So, outer part is pinna the outer part consists of the long and the not very long obviously, so long and broader part ok. So, what is this children it is like this I am drawing over here very simple diagram of human ear very very simple ok. So, that it can help you to understand the structure of ear. So, this is uh, ear ok. So, children this one is the outer part outer part consists of first of all pinna. Now, this is the outer part which is broader can be seen from outside ok and its function is to collect the sound ok. I am talking about the human ear, human ear is divided into three compartments or three parts outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. To start with we are discussing what we have started discussing ear in this we are talking about the outer part. The outer part consists of what the first uh, part of outer ear is pinna which is quite visible from outside it is present below the head it is what it the function of this is what to collect the sound ok to collect the sound. Now, this pinna give rise to a, like it forms after pinna as soon as the pinna ends a small canal can be seen ok. Now, this small canal can be known as ear canal ok. It can be known as ear canal or inner tube ok. Now, after this is what this is around 2 to 3 centimeters long ok. This ear canal or ear tube is around 2 to 3 centimeters long. Now, after this you know in uh, middle ear we will have uh, three bones ok. Now, before discussing three bones we will talk about again the one more membrane which is present over here ok. Now, this membrane is what this is thin elastic and circular membrane and this membrane is known as what eardrum. Or it can be even known as 
tempanum. Okay, now this tympanum. Now this one is what? First of all, we are discussing outer part. Now here, first of all, we have discussed pinna. Pinna is the outermost part. Okay, it is little broader and little long, which is visible from outside. Its function is to collect the sound and give to the other parts of the ear. Now, after pinna, we can see a small tube, tube-like structure. Which is known as ear canal. Okay, this is known as what ear canal. As soon as this ear canal ends up, is ends up. It, this one ends with a membrane. Okay, so which kind of membrane is this? This membrane, first of all, is known as what? It is ear drum. Ear drum is what? But nothing but just a membrane. Membrane. Okay, now this membrane can also be known as tympanum. Now, how, which kind of this mem this membrane is of which kind? Like how it is? So this is thin, elastic, and circular. Okay, it is thin, elastic, and circular. Now, when we talk about the inner part, okay, um, or before inner part, we'll have to discuss middle part. So, when we talk about middle part of the ear, it consists of three bones, children. Okay, it consists of three bones. To remember the names of the bones, we can learn one word has. Okay, so H A S has, where H gives to hammer. Okay, A gives to anvil, and S gives to stirrup. These are the three bones which are present in our ear. Okay. So, how to remember the sequence or how to remember the names of the bone? So, just I have given you a small uh, word, okay, a small word which is what has. Just remember the sequence of the bones because you know while writing paper we, we know everything, we prepare and go, but for writing paper sometimes we may get confused while writing paper. So, if you just keep this word in your mind has, so H for hammer, this bone will come first, A for anvil and S for stirrup. If uh, you know, stirrup is the smallest bone in our body, it is just uh, of the size of a grain, okay. So, this is what stirrup is. Now, so when we talk about middle part, middle part, in middle part we have got what three bones, okay. In middle part we have got three bones. This is what hammer, okay. Now, after this is what anvil. Now, see children actually, now these three bones are attached to each other, okay. Hammer is attached to anvil, anvil and that is attached to stirrup. So, one end is attached to one bone and the second end is attached to the second bone. Okay, now we will we'll just see the sequence. What we are talking about? We are talking about the middle ear which is made up of three bones. To learn the sequence, we know the word has. Okay, now this has. Okay, this has gives us the three words hammer, anvil and stirrup. So, this bone is what? This bone is hammer, okay. This bone is hammer and from now here, from hammer we will have one another bone which will be connected over here and this is what? So, this bone is what? This is anvil. Okay. Now, as we are discussing that we have got three bones. So, now the third one, just let me finish up with this. So, I am drawing the third one. Okay. Now, again I will have to draw. Okay. So, our third bone is also ready. This is stirrup. Okay, this one is what? Stirrup. Now, after this, we have, I have written over here, but I made a mistake. Now, we will be having, I will have to rub this here. 
this is the outermost part which is what pinna from pinna we have a small canal like structure which is known as ear canal the function of pinna is to collect the sound and to give to the inner parts of the uh, ear now when the sound comes to the ear the pinna okay and then afterwards it comes to the ear canal now it is nothing but just a tube which is of around 2 to 3 cm in length and after this again the sound has to go to a like it, there is a membrane now this membrane is what its ear drum and this ear drum can also be known as tympanum okay now this tympanum is very elastic it is circular and it is thin also okay now this one is our outer part now we'll talk about the inner part so when we talk about our inner part we have to remember the word has okay we have to remember the word has h for hammer a for anvil s for stirrup okay so we will be what are these children these are the three bones okay what are these these are the three bones which is present as the what middle ear okay which is present as the middle ear as we have discussed the human ear is made up of three compartments or three parts okay outer ear middle ear and inner ear so when we talk about middle ear it is made up of three bones now hammer anvil and stirrup and these three bones are attached to each other okay these three bones are attached to each other now i just draw the first bone i'm just drawing the first bone so this bone is what hammer i'm drawing very simple diagram of the ear which will make you uh, you know which will uh, like it will become easier for you to understand now from here we have see this one is which bone children this one is hammer and then we have got one more bone which one is what anvil okay so this one is okay now this is the another bone now again we have got one more bone okay so this one is the another bone okay now this bone actually it one this is the smallest bone stirrup is the smallest bone which is present in the whole human body like this is the smallest bone present in a human body and this bone is of size of just a small grain okay this is this one is so small but again its importance cannot be you know uh, overruled it's very very important part of the ear so now this one is anvil now we have got so now this part okay this part of middle ear forms an oval structure okay and this forms a eustachian canal okay this forms a eustachian canal and it goes down and gets connected to the throat a uh, throat okay it gets connected to the throat now we will continue this side i'll explain you this one first of all what we have done till here see this one is the structure of the what this one is pinna it is the outermost part of the human ear it collects the sound and it give gives to the next part of the ear okay so this one is what i am not labeling children i'll label it after i finish drawing so this one is ear canal okay the sound comes over here then this is ear drum okay then this one is the uh, bone which one hammer then anvil and then stirrup okay this one is eustachian tube eustachian canal okay now what we have to draw children we have to draw the inner part of the okay so this one is oval window it's not like 
uh, what is the work of oval window we will be discussing after the structure is discussed. So, this one is what oval window now from here I will draw the another part now this is again a very important part this is cochlea. So, this one is again the inner part of the ear. Okay. So, here is the structure of the human ear. So, this one is what children, this one is pinna. Okay. Now, this one is ear canal. First of all the sound, see this one is the outer structure which is known as pinna, its function is to collect the sound and from here the sound goes where to a very small tube which is known as what ear canal or ear tube. Now this one is around 2 to 3 centimeter long, okay. this one is around 2 to 3 centimeter long. Now after this which the structure which we can see over here is what it is ear drum okay and the ear drum can also be known as what tympanum it can be also known as tympanum I will just write over here okay it can be written or the other name of this ear drum is what tympanum what is the speciality of this tympanum or what is the speciality of this eardrum children? It is a thin membrane, it is, it is very thin, it is elastic in nature and it is circular also. Okay. Now, when the sound comes, uh, is collected by pinna, it comes to ear canal and then it comes to the what this uh, eardrum or tympanum which vibrates very fast. We will just study the structure first and then we will talk about the working, how the working of the human ear takes place. Now, this is the bone, this is the first bone which is what hammer. Okay, this is the first bone which is known as hammer. Now, this one is which one? Anvil. And this one is which one? This one is stirrup. Okay. Now I can write this three as what? Three bones. Okay. Three bones of the ears. Now after this, this one is what? Eustachian tube. Okay. Now, this one here, it is what oval window, now this one is what cochlea, okay. Now, in this total you will find liquid is filled up. So, Here everywhere liquid is filled up and this liquid is equally very very important okay. So, the whole cochlea is whole cochlea is filled with the liquid ok. Now, what we are talking about I will just keep this. So, now it maintains the like it is the one which passes a sensation ok. It converts the I will just tell you in a working ok. So, this is the liquid 
which is filled up in the cochlea and here we have got the okay I'll draw it with some other color so it becomes visible it's auditory now even this one is not visible okay so this one is auditory now now this part I can even divide this human part into three parts over here this one is our outer ear ok now uh, this one from here this is our inner ear and I am so sorry this one is our middle ear ok and this one is our inner ear ok as now labeling is done diagram is drawn it will be quite easy to understand now see from here when the ok when the sound is captured from here it comes to the small tube now this small tube is known as ear canal or ear tube now when the sound passes here after this we have got a membrane now this membrane is known as what it is known as eardrum and this eardrum can also be known as tympanum ok now this tympanum will talk working afterwards just I am telling you the structure of the ear ok so here we have got tympanum now these are the three bones ok where are the three bones this one one two and three so hammer and will and what uh, stirrup these are the three bones the, this these three bones form the middle part of the ear now along with this we have got this one this part is known as eustachian tube and now this eustachian tube is connected to the thro uh, throat ok now actually you know children the outer part of the uh, ear has got air even the middle part of the air has got middle uh, the air now what is the function of this eustachian tube it is connected to the throat and it is uh, you know it function it ensures that always the pressure between like inside here and this side outside that means outer side of this uh, like in the throat part like this uh, always the pressure the air pressure remains the same this is very very important it ensures always that the ear pressure outside and inside is very same you know sometimes when one travel with the aeroplane complains about the ear pain why does a person complains about the ear pain because the pressure difference ok the pressure which is there inside uh, the you know ear and the outside when it differs and that creates the it due to this the even the uh, pain can be felt so due to difference in pressure uh, it like what happens it can give rise to pain in the ear so these are the three bone hammer anvil and stirrup now here we have got one more membrane which is known as what oval window ok now uh, what is how the three bones are connected children see the first bone ok the first bone is hammer the one part of the hammer ok the one part of the hammer is connected to the eardrum ok one part of the hammer is connected to the eardrum and the second part of the bone is connected to the second bone isn't it see this this is a bone so this part is connected to anvil ok I will this is the first bone so it will be connected to the second bone and second bone is again connected to the third bone isn't it so this is the first bone which one end is connected to the second bone and this is the second bone whose one end is connected to the third bone ok so this one is first this one is second and this one is third so same we have done over here that hammer is the first bone which is connected to the eardrum 
from one end and the second end is connected to the second bone. Now second bone we are talking about now one end of the second bone is connected to the first bone hammer and the second end is connected to the stirrup ok the second end is connected to the stirrup now the second the third bone the one end of the third bone is connected to what and will and the, the free end ok the another part is connected to the opposite side of the oval window that means the membrane of the oval window. Now what is there we were discussing about this that again this one is also the part of the middle ear this is eustachian tube it is connected to the throat and it ensures the pressure e, uh, that the pressure is equal outside and inside of the ear and the throat. Now when we talk about this this is cochlea and here the liquid is filled this liquid has got nerve cells ok in this the liquid is filled and this liquid has got nerve cells which transmits the which gives the message to the auditory nerve. Now auditory nerve is the nerve which is connected to the brain ok auditory nerve is the brain which is connected to the brain we we'll just see the structure of the ear uh, just once more once again we will revise this we are talking about human ear. Now human ear is made up of it can be divided into three parts three compartments outer middle and inner ok. Outer part uh, when we discuss it is made up of what now first of all the first is pinna the function of pinna is to collect the sound and to give to the next part of the ear. The next part of the ear is a small canal ok this canal is known as what this is known as what ear drum ok now this ear drum can also be known as tympanum. So this is pinna this is what this small tube is what either ear tube or ear canal now here we have got one membrane which is known as what ear canal or ear ear drum or this is ear canal here this membrane is known as what tympanum or ear drum now which kind of membrane is this it is very thin it is circular it is elastic now after this we have got middle ear middle ear is consists of three bones ok has means hammer anvil and stirrup this one is hammer one end is connected to where tympanum or ear drum other end is connected to the other bone now we are talking about second bone second bone will be connected from one side to the first bone means that is what hammer and the second part of anvil will be connected to the third bone ok that means the three bones are connected with each other now we are talking about anvil the one part of anvil is connected to the second the we are talking about stirrup sorry now still up one part is connected to the anvil and the other part is connected to what oval window. Now what is oval window children just it is connected to how it is connected it is connected to the opposite membrane of the oval window. Now from here we have got cochlea now one end is connected to the opposite membrane like the membrane of the opposite side of the oval window ok where cochlea is connected to the membrane of the oval window and the other part is connected to the auditory now inside the cochlea what is there inside it lot of liquid is there what does this liquid have this liquid has lot of nerve cells ok now this nerve cells are capable to give the message to this auditory now ok. So this is about the structure of the human ear it can be divided into three parts which one outer one outer ear middle ear and inner ear ok first of all the sound will be connected by a pinna then the sound comes to the ear canal here we have got one membrane which is known as ear drum it can also be known as tympanum then we have got three bones ok first second third three bones hammer anvil and syrup these three bones are connected to each other now this one is eustachian tube this tube ok again this is a part of a middle ear it is connected where it is connected to the throat and it ensures the same pressure both the side now we have got what oval window it has got a membrane which is connected to uh, what like the cochlea is also connected and the stirrup bone is also connected to that now cochlea contains lot of liquid into this 
and this liquid has got nerve cells and then one end is connected to the auditory nerve. Now this liquid as I told it has got lot of nerve cells, it gives message to the brain. Okay, so this is about the structure of the brain. Now we will talk about the working of the brain. So, what is the working of the brain, children? First of all, the sound is collected by the pinna. It is given to the ear canal. Now, when it comes to the ear drum, okay, when it comes to the ear drum, it vibrates very fast. Okay. As we all know that no sound can be produced without vibration. For any kind of sound to be produced, what is very very important? It is very very essential that that substance vibrate. Okay, that's until unless that substance will vibrate, the sound cannot be produced. So here, what is there? This one is ear drum, ear drum, and it has got region of compression and rarefaction. Okay, it has got region of compression that means high density area okay more of the uh, particles it is very it is very dense with the you know particles uh, or the air particles okay and then we have got rarefaction or we can say the high pressure area and the low pressure area so what is happening children due to high pressure area it goes uh, like this and again the rare fraction area medium is there and so again it comes to its position again the high like high pressure area is there and so it vibrates very fast okay now this after this vibration this vibration is passed to what the three bones the first is what hammer the vibration get passed over here now children what is the function of the three bones actually these now three bones act as amplifier the function of this three bone is to increase the vibration okay to increase the vibration because the liquid which is filled over here can understand okay can the nerve cells are there these nerve cell can only interpret can only understand the higher vibrations it cannot understand the lower vibrations so if the vibrations will be low one cannot uh, like we won't be able to hear properly okay so where we have reached the sound is collected sound has come to ear canal it has gone to what ear drum or tympanum which vibrates very very fast Okay, here we have got region of compression and rarefaction that means high pressure area and low pressure area due to which it vibrates very fast. Now after this we have got three bones. Now this three bones act as amplifier whose role is to you know increase the vibrations. Okay, so the this bone starts vibrating as this bone is connected even this and will get you know starts vibrating. Again here as stirrup is connected, stirrup also gets um, starts getting vibrated. Now this vibration reaches over here oval window. Now due to this and uh, all these are vibrating even the oval window starts vibrating. Okay, now this oval window starts vibrating and due to which as we have discussed the cochlea is attached to this. Okay, this vibration reaches cochlea and as we all know the liquid is filled inside uh, this cochlea this liquid starts vibrating okay this liquid starts vibrating and as the nerve cells are present over here so what is happening over here this liquid you know it starts electrical like electrical impulses are produced over here okay nerves this liquid is present inside this liquid nerves are nerve cells are present okay so these nerve cells starts uh, what is happening actually here okay nerve impulses are uh, produced now here auditory canal auditory nerve is pre uh, present which is which uh, passes uh, the this vibrations to the brain and then brain interprets this messages or converts them as this uh, vibrations into what into sound okay in this way the human ear works okay we will just have a quick revision of all what we have read now before uh, a quick gist of this I just want to talk about ear drum children ear drum is a membrane okay it is a very thin membrane it is very elastic membrane but you know as it is very close okay we can approach this isn't it when we put our uh, pencil maybe pen or you know sometimes even we use 
some you know that uh, long uh, stick sort of a thing even the uh, law no, sometimes people put um, you know cotton at the end of this stick and they clean the ear this is really believe me very very dangerous okay if you have to clean your ears please use proper uh, birds okay ear birds these are actually it should not be even uh, used very often and should be very very careful in case of the children okay children should not uh, put anything inside their ears because this eardrum is very sensitive it is very delicate if it get if it gets burst okay it gets ruptured what will happen we won't be able to hear properly the sound won't pass further the sound will get stopped here only okay and when the sound gets stopped here only then what will happen the as the vibrations are not passing brain won't have anything to interpret brain won't get anything to transfer and to change and so we won't be able to hear okay so it is very very it's our duty that when god has given us a beautiful mechanism we should take care of that and should avoid putting anything anything into the anything sharp into our ears okay whenever the uh, even the ear drops are used even that should be used only after the um, you know prescription or when the it when it is prescribed by the doctors or until unless no ear drops also should be used okay now uh, this uh, some of the as i told that we are quite lucky enough that our mechanism okay is totally like we have a proper functioning in our body and our function our body work properly function properly we are able to hear properly but then there are certain person who are not able to hear properly now it can be of different type sometimes the vibrations are not interpreted properly vibrations are not uh, amplified properly okay maybe the eardrum is ruptured or there are several kind of problems sometimes uh, you know like the problem like the I, i mean to say like the person is quite well but due to some injury due to some accident or due to rupture of eardrum or due to any kind of mishappening the person loses the hearing capacity but in some uh, you know some children it is there this deafness is there from their childhood from the time of their own like from the time of the birth okay so uh, the like you know the people uh, i'm talking about the fortunate one who are able to hear should take care of all these structures very properly should not uh, put anything inside the ears nothing no sharp object should be inserted so we'll just have a quick recap of all this thing so uh, and after that we'll be moving to some next topic okay so we are talking human ear it can be divided into three parts outer middle and inner outer pinna and what ear canal the sound comes from here it goes to ear canal again the it is also the part of the outer canal ear drum it vibrates and the vibration reaches to the bones three bones are there which is connected to each other now due to as you know one bone is vibrating the vibration reaches to the second and to the third bone now here we have got eustachian tube okay this one is connected to the throat which, which ensures the pressure inside and outside now here we have got oval window okay third bone anvil bone is connected to the opposite side of the opposite like the membrane opposite the oval window now the cochlea is also attached to oval window now here we in this we have uh, got liquid now these liquids have uh, this part okay has got liquid and this liquid has got many nerve cells now when the vibrations come till here after this the vibrations are passed to the liquid now this liquid also starts vibrating okay and when liquid starts getting vibrated the, then what happens the nerve cells are present there and this chemical impulses are created which is transmitted to the brain through this auditory canal and when this chemical 
you know the uh, I, I can say that this reaches to the brain this part has got liquid and here when the liquid vibrates what will happen the nerve cells are then they create they you know produce electrical impulses now this electrical impulses when it is created it goes to where it reaches to the uh, uh, brain with the help of the auditory canal now brain interprets the messages the electrical impulses they is it is interpreted in the form of the sound so this was whole about the human ear the structure the working okay now we'll talk about the next topic